Hey, hey, we're back. Lesson 93, 30 to go after today. How about that? Crazy, isn't it, right? Wow. All right. Today's fraction bars as symbols of inclusion. Remember, symbols of inclusion are like brackets and you know parentheses and things like that. They will do things like this to you. Simplify. 5 times 4 divided by 2 times 4 plus 2 or whatever. And you know which one to do first, right? Parentheses. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go, okay, this is 5 times 4, 20. Then divided by, um, <clears throat> inside here, we'll go 2 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. 20 divided by 10, 2. Duh. Okay, we got it. All right. This is also another way of saying exactly the same thing. Look at that. 5 times 4, 5 times 4. 2 times 4 plus 2, 2 times 4 plus 2. It's the same thing, right? A fraction is a division problem. So what you can do is you can take um, a fraction bar, do the numerator, do the denominator, and then do the final division, and you'll get the exact same answer. Let's do it together. So 5 times 4, 20. 2 times 4 is 8. Remember, that's first, not the plus. Okay, plus 2 is 10. Same answer. There you go. Okay, now let's do something a little bit longer. If you want to pause and copy, go ahead. <clears throat> and again, just do the numerator first. Get an answer for that and write it. Then do the denominator first, then write that, then do the final division, and boom, you're finished. Okay, uh, so let's go. So we will do 4 minus, I'm going to go ahead and do the parentheses first. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Plus, let's do the 3 plus, uh, excuse me, 3 times 2 first. That'll be 6 plus 6. Okay. So 4 minus a negative 4 is the same thing as 4 plus 4, right? 4 plus 4 is 8. Plus 6 is 14. Plus 6 is 20. Numerator finished. Okay. Now the denominator. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. So we have 2 times negative 5. Well, 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. And you should know like that by now. 20, positive, divided by negative 10 will be negative 2. That's it. That's fraction bars as symbols of inclusion. There you go. One more. Pause and copy if you need to. Okay. Let's just only do the numerator first. Okay. So we're going to go 6 and then negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1 minus uh, negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8 times 2. Okay, we'll do one more step here. Let's knock out this uh, multiplication. So 6 times negative 1 is negative 6 minus, and let's do the multiplication here first, negative 8 times 2 is negative 16, right? Okay, well negative 6 minus a negative 16 is the same thing as negative 6 plus 16. Negative 6 plus 16 is 10. There we go. That's our numerator. Hold on to that. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. So the, the denominator is negative 6. Now you could leave it like that if you wanted to. You could just put 10 over negative 6. But if you wanted to go ahead and kind of make it look a little cleaner and like what is normally expressed, you would say this is a positive 10 divided by a negative 6 which means it's going to be negative. The whole thing will be negative. Just put, apply that to the entire fraction. Of course, we want to reduce this as well. It's reducible by 2, so negative 5 thirds. There you go. Fraction bars as symbols of inclusion. Okay, try the practice problem on page 291. Pause it and give it a whirl. Okay, well, let's do the same thing here. Just the numerator. I'm going to copy you again. 6 minus, and then I'll have 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Plus 4 times 2, 8 plus 3. Okay. Now, let's go 6. Uh, the opposite of negative 3, and by the way, you can look at it this way if you want to. You can say 6 minus a negative 3, or you can say there's a 6 sitting there. And there's also, next to the 6 sitting there, is the opposite of a negative 3, which we know is going to be 3. And then plus 8, and then plus 3. And let's knock these all together. What is that? Uh, 9, and then what? 11? 20? Okay, good enough. All right, let's do the bottom. 2 times negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So we know the answer immediately. Boom, negative 5. We got it. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great day. See you all next time.